students. So in this video, I'm going to explain about composite functions and give you an example of how to solve composite function problem solving question. So you can see here, given functions f and g are defined by fx equals to x plus 2 and gx equals to 2x minus 1. Find function fg. Alright, so as you can see here, there are two functions that are combined. So when you have two functions that are combined, you, it's called composite function. So let's solve the first question. Okay, so that means here, for question A, we need to find f, g, x. Okay, so here, what is our g, x? Our g, x is given as 2x minus 1. So what we are going to do here is, we're just going to substitute this part. Alright, just substitute this entire gx as 2x minus 1. So it's going to be like this, 2x minus 1. So as you can see here now, this thing, all right, this equation here has been written down and this actually is gx. Okay, now what we're going to do the next step, what is our fx? fx is x plus 2. Okay, so fx is x plus 2. So when x is here, okay, when x is here, this is x. So if let's say if this is y, so it will be y plus 2. If this is z, so it will be z plus 2. So if you can see this difference, since here is f 2x minus 1, so what will here be? We are going to replace this inside the x. So it will be 2x minus 1 plus 2. Okay, so now we open the bracket. 2x minus 1 plus 2. We solve the equation. So here will be plus 1. So this is our function fg x. Now for part b, we are required to find g square. So g square is written this way g g x okay so what is g x g x is 2x minus 1 so we substitute this equation inside here 2x minus 1 and then again we have g function g so this time where are we going to replace it again by comparison if let's say this is g y we will write this as, okay, because gx is actually 2x minus 1. So, if gy is 2y minus 1. If it's gb, uh, so it's 2b minus 1. So, we are just going to replace the letters actually, okay. So, here what it will be? Since here is 2x, okay, so 2, the x will be replaced. So, we substitute this inside. So, 2x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, now, so we times in, okay, 2 times 2 for x, 2 times negative 1, negative 2, minus 1. So we solve, we obtain 4x minus 3. So this is g square x, function for g square x. And the last one, for find function g f 5, okay. So we have g f 5. Okay, what is uh, function gf? Did we find any function gf previously? No. So we have to solve for function fx first. Okay, so g, what is function f? So as we can see here, function f is x plus 2, correct? Okay, function fx is x plus 2. So if, if it's uh, f5, it will be 5 plus 2. So what is 5 plus 2? 7. So this is the number that we are going to replace inside here. Okay. So what we can do is to show the full step-by-step -step solution, we are just going to copy this inside. Alright. So it's going to be 5 plus 2. So it will be G7. Okay. So what is G? G is 2x minus 1. So 2 x x will be 7 minus 1 so 14 minus 1 will be 30 okay so in this part here what we did was we actually 
substitute the value, find the value first and then we use that value for function g. So let me give you another example. Okay, example 2, given function fx is x minus 4 and fgx, function fgx is 3x minus 4. Find a function gx. Okay, what is the difference here is that here we have composite function already given and now we have to find gx separately. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to identify which one is given. Okay, fgx. Okay, fgx is 3x squared minus 4. fx is x minus 4. So which one is given? fx is given. fx is the outer function. Okay, so we need to find this one, gx, the inner one. Okay, so in this question, what we're going to do is, so first, you need to be very clear that if let's say, okay, this is uh, fx equals to x minus 4, what if this is f gx? So what will this look like? What will this equation look like? Because here x, here x, right? So here gx, so here must be gx, alright? Here must be gx minus 4. Okay, so if you understand this concept very well, which is we are just substituting the value here according to what's given here, then you can solve this very easily. Okay, so first thing here now, since you already know this is how it looks like, so we are going to write here f, so gx, okay, is actually how? Like this, okay, so gx minus 4, okay. So can you see here, fgx composite function that's given and the fgx that we just write down by replacing the value. Okay, so now this one, what we're going to do is we're going to compare. Okay, we're going to compare the given one with the one we just wrote. Okay, this is given, this is what we just replaced and find. Okay, so take the given 3x squared minus 4 equal to gx okay minus 4 now bring the number to the left hand side so it will be 3x square minus 4 plus 4 equals to gx so solve this so gx we obtain as 3x square so as you can see we already obtain our function gx so the main that you need to remember is if the function is inside and you need to find it, do it using this method. This method is very simple. So the part B, find the value of x if fg is equal to gf. So now we have to find the value of x. Okay, so let me do it here. Okay, find the value of x if fg is equal to gf. Now, what is fg? fg is 3x square minus 4. 3x square minus 4. What is gfx? Do we have gfx? So let's find gf, okay? So we have here g. fx is x minus 4. So we're going to substitute this. Put it inside here. Okay, it's minus 4. Okay, now what is our g? Since just now we found equals to 3x squared. So we're going to substitute 3x squared. So our x is x minus 4. Okay, so now expand this. So this will be x minus 4, x minus 4. So using your expanding uh, knowledge previously, Okay, so here we will obtain 3x square minus 8x plus 16. Now, this one you have to refresh your expansion, okay, which is times this way and then times this way, okay. Then when you solve, you will obtain this answer. Okay, so now expand in some more. So, it's 3x square minus 24x plus 16. So we already obtained g function gfx. 
Now, we need to find the value. The question asks us to find the value of x. Okay, if both these composite functions are equal. So now what we're going to do? We are going to take this, okay, equal to this. Okay, so let's do that. So here, 3x squared minus 4 equal to 3x squared minus 24x plus 16. So I'm going to bring all the uh, equation to one side, the, the one with x, okay? And then I'm going to bring the numbers to the right side. So let's bring just the x, okay? Let's bring all the x to this side. Let's bring the number to the right side. Okay, so here becomes 3x square minus 3x square. Here minus go becomes plus 24x. Done. Left with 16. Bring 4 becomes plus 4. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's a mistake here. Here 3 times 16 is 48. So here is 48. Okay. This is 48. Alright. 48 plus 4. Okay. 48 plus 4. Here we will obtain here 0. Here 24x. 48 plus 4 is 52. So find value of x. 52 dy. 24. So x we obtain as this will be 13. 6. So 13 over 6. You can write this as mixed uh, number which will be 2, 1 over 6. So we have obtained the value of x. So I hope you do more practices like this. You can also get uh, the questions which I'll be posting in the telegram group. You can click on the link below, join the telegram group and I'll be posting more examples like this students. So keep practicing, keep practicing daily all right? and until I see you in my next video. Bye!